So what now? Their motto is Vigilamus. We are watching. This is Operation Site Report Now, Site Report Now. Yes, Miss Al. Deep inside the huge pyramid, high up in the I North York Moors, E Crew rehearse a simulated missile attack. Three, launch origin, north, north zero four seven, decimal zero one. West 006, decimal 07. RAF Filingdales is part of the Ballistic Missile Early Warning System for the US and UK governments. And knowledge valid for one. The radar is maintained by the Americans, whilst manpower is provided by the UK. OK, honey, if you want to take the uh, crew commander's seat then, and I'll uh, show you where we are in the mission. So we're in the normal state of play now. Um, the first thing that you can probably notice on the screen is that we've got a red cross right here. Flight Lieutenant Tom Gill took us through the missile attack procedure again in slow time. And so now, as you can see, we've got two screens forced to us and you can see we've got a clock building up on the side here. And in, in the time limit that we've got, we've got to check a few different things. So we check that the clock's counting, we check that the buttons are available to us and we check that there are messages here in this window there. Once we see that all those are there, then we can announce, site report now. So, you like you can announce site report now site report now okay the next thing we need to do is announce to the rest of the people in the, uh, the department that this is happening so that they can check the process and all their equipment so we would on the tano we would say this is operation site report now site report now the team now have just 60 seconds within which to do three crucial checks so we turn to the crew chief there is no clutter in the path of that lmpi so the, the crew chief's telling us that the, the missile has not come from an area of clutter or false energy and it's not going into an area of what false energy. What does that energy. mean? Clutter. It means that um, when we send radar energy out, it may bounce back off things, whether that be um, denser patches of atmosphere or it may be even reflections from rocks out in the sea which have certain mineral contents that can give us false readings and make the radar think that it sees something that it doesn't. So that's what clutter can be. It can be false reading. So, so when that could mean that it doesn't really exist. It means that it doesn't exist. The, 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 mis the radar thinks there's a missile, but because of something that isn't actually there. They must also check that the radar itself is working correctly and that the communication lines to the US are transferring all this data to them. Once they are content that what they have detected really is a missile, they cascade this information to the US and UK governments, who would decide what action to take. Copied. The pyramid radar covers 360 degrees, making it unique in the world. It can see 3,000 miles into space, over most of North Africa and Western Europe, the North Sea, the Arctic and way up into the Atlantic Ocean. It needs the same amount of electricity to power it as the whole of nearby Whitby, so they have an entire power station here on site. In recent times, it's become much busier here, and that's largely due to the second role of RAF Filingdales, monitoring space objects. This ranges from military satellites, which may be watching in, to the ever-increasing amounts of space junk, abandoned spacecraft, empty rocket fuel containers, or old defunct satellites. It's a lot cheaper now to put uh, 100 satellites in space as it was to put one satellite in space, you know, maybe 20 years ago. So commercially, it's a lot more viable to put quite a few, you know, we could club together, build our satellite, and we could get it launched. You know, it's relatively cheap. And give you something else to track. Absolutely. <laughs> the main reason these objects must be tracked is to detect and prevent collisions, and the most important thing they could collide with is the International Space Station, the ISS, which, of course, has lives on board. From the radar on the moors, personnel can detect objects on a collision path, enabling the ISS to speed up or slow down to avoid it. With tens of thousands of objects hurtling around space, the job here at Filingdales is becoming increasingly difficult. There are firms um, in the process of, of creating satellites that can go up there and use either harpoon technology, net technology and various other early stage stuff where they can catch and collect space debris and try and get rid of it, either send it further out into space where it won't be a problem for us or bring it back down. I and mean, that would make your job a bit easier, would it? It would, but then you've got to remember that to send these things up, people have got to send more satellites into space with the nets and the harpoons, so that is actually adding more to the, the tracks that we, we follow. And, um, it's, that's, that's, satellites are getting much, much smaller. All the objects they put into space now are much, much smaller. If you, back in the early days when they were sending things into orbit, they were the size of a double-decker bus. Now they're sending things that are the size of someone's thumb. So they could send 100, 200 pieces on a space launch rather than just one. And if anything, the size of someone's thumb hits, someone at, hits something at 18,000 miles an hour, it's going to make a mess. 
Five crews man the radar 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, supported by around 50 other RAF personnel. If they were to detect an incoming missile, they would likely be its target. If we were a target, we'd have already completed our mission, so our mission would have been done. And that's the, that's the mindset of, of the people that work here. It needs to be done, so, so in that sense, I'm quite proud of the fact that I do it, and that, that's enough to, to cover the, uh, the worry that goes with it. While you're sleeping in your bed, we're watching space, making sure that, you know, everything's safe. Closing on the lines, UK Spock, CTF 345. Line closed, UK agencies. Copy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.